if your air condition starts and runs but it doesn't cool then it's most likely that the compressor is faulty and there there's a good chance that actually the ram capacitor causes the issue the good news is you can actually fix that for about 15 dollars so let's have a look and just a disclaimer here i'm not saying you should do this at home i'm just telling you how i did it and before you do any electrical work always unplug it so you don't get shocked okay so here's our take care air conditioned unit that's the outside unit and uh, the first thing we do is we just um, unscrew the last screw here and you can see it had like one two uh, three on the other two screws here so we take all of those out and then we can just basically lift the lid up here on this tackle unit you can see there's not much to it as the fan here the engine for the fan and then there is the capacitor and that's what we're looking for um, we're gonna replace this capacitor here it's a 34 rod there we go so next um, just gonna unscrew the capacitor here so I can take it out yeah that's basically it and it's just uh, it's hooked in here so I can just take it off and here we go um, all the power is turned off of course here's our capacitor um, it looks a little bit rusty but not super bad so the first thing we should do is we should actually make sure there's no charge in it anymore and we use a screwdriver see what happens there put it here no sparks nothing now nah, this thing is pretty much dead probably there's not much going on here if you shop for a new capacitor, there are obviously multiple places that sell it. Um, I got mine just off eBay. Um, the only thing you have to make sure is that it has the right amount of farad. So I had like 30 microfarad. And then um, mine was a 40-70-21. And uh, the one that I ordered was slightly thicker. Um, maybe like a quarter of an inch uh, thicker in diameter than the old one. But uh, still no issue. I could still fit that in without the problem and it works fine okay now I just replace the capacitor the only thing you have to watch out is that this little knob here is on top and it's uh, the same here and once you orient it that way you can just um, swap the wires over the connectors of course you turn it off and unplug it make sure there's no power and um, you put a new one in and turn it on and um, I can already feel that's like hot air coming out, so I think we're back in business. We just have to close this thing up and we're good to go. 10 year old Teco, fixed. 